so now that we can select the faceless independently we can actually move them and scale them more we'll see that later on um, yes we need to know the letters q w e and r q is for selecting w to to move as you can see the one of the arrows turns yellow if you select it uh, constraining the, the movement to that direction you can also press control and on that arrow it will pretty much be the constraint of the movement and the rest will be free make it very convenient for um, two-dimensional uh, movements uh, also if you press E it will be rotating so similar to 3d max in that sense or R where you can also like scale multiply in all directions right you're pressing in the center in one direction you can see also turns yellow or we can also press control on one of the these guys to actually have that as a constraint as a transformation I didn't say before but we can actually change uh, different colors uh, from the interface uh, by going to display we can get rid of the grid for example um, put it on or even changing some of its uh, characteristics in terms of color if you want the axis in a different color or the grid lines etc um, you can also go to display and and sorry to window setting preference and go to color settings 3d and you will have also the way of changing the background to the color that you may prefer other options to go to windows set, uh, setting preference the preference and you will have many other things that you're going to be able to change such as setting and change the, um, the units here angular linear etc etc uh, another one which is important to know will be window preference and hotkey uh, that this allows us actually to search for one of the commands and press a key that we because we normally use it often and we want to have a special key dedicated to that function right um, so as we can see we once we uh, select the, the object that we're working with and we check the layer editor or by control a the attribute editor uh, we can we have all these options that uh, allows us to check uh, the different information such as the width height that we can also uh, change again the number of subdivisions uh, within an object control a you can also right uh, click on one of the the layer editor commands and just center press the center button of the mouse and change that option as you can see it's changing here as we as we move um, so by control I mean there are many other it's designed already a uh, material we'll see that later on uh, it has designed uh, shape and uh, etc etc but for now I think it's it's good to know uh, basically the cube uh, the polycube one to to be able to change the subdivisions the width and height and depth etc uh, just to know that this uh, numbers shouldn't be changed it's pretty much the global scale so if you actually press 2 here it will change that but it won't change this guys uh, it's pretty much like a uh, polymatic configuration of Maya that has a, like a global scale and a, like a individual scale of the object. Um, in that sense, there's ways to actually make a shortcut to get to access to, as we said before, to the faces and the and the act and the uh, edges and vertex by right-clicking after selecting the object and on top of the object we will have all those options that we were having for up here and we're going to be able to access that information uh, much quicker this way now uh, within those options by right clicking we're going to have other options that we'll see little by little like assign materials uh, connect uh, outputs etc uh, etc et for now let's take let's stay with with the main uh, sub uh, parts of an object such as edge x uh, vertex face um, we sometimes want to use everything at the same time kind of multi and the object multi come back to this uh, main configuration so if we press the edge we're going to be able to select press w for the movement 
remove that partition dependency. So right clicking again and going to the vertex, selecting a vertex or two. By the way, adding this to the selection is shift and the um, extracting from the selection selection is control. Shift we add, control we add. Shift uh, also adds, but if you select more than one, uh, for example here, it will pretty much deselect w the one that is selected and select the, the one that's not selected. Kind of annoying. Control always deselects no matter uh, if you have two of them selected, such as here. There we go. Uh, we can also right click and go to places, move the places independently. Uh, and do many other things that we'll see uh, little by little uh, to come back to the to the main object we have um, the object mode here and we're going to be able to move